Yeah, we're going to take you all over the place. And uh, like I said, we're going to be uh, talking to our friend here, a special guest. And uh, we're going to be playing. Play, we're going to start with his music. But uh, we just finished playing uh, an artist from, you think it's Cuban, and uh, it really sounds Cuban. It turns out it's he's a gr- uh, Colombian vocal uh, from Colombia. His name is Edgar Gonzalon, and he goes by the name of El Negrito de la Salsa. And uh, that's, uh, that's his title, and the name of his CD is Pa Bailar El Song. It's a, recently, it was re- released in 2008, and it just got re-released in 2011. Uh, the name of the tune we played was Chiquito y Juegatón. And uh, we started off the set with a world artist by the name of Cesaria Ivora, who just passed away uh, this week. I want to say she passed away on Friday, uh, if anything. Uh, one of the people at work uh, is from Cape Verde in the admissions office, and she says, oh, yeah, I know of her, and, I, and she just passed. Uh, she's not doing well. Uh, the name of the tune that we played from her uh, Cafe Atlantico, which is a 2000, was it? Yeah, uh, 1990. In fact, this is the CD that, that won the Grammy. 1999 was released, and she won the Grammy at 2000. Uh, the name of the tune that we played, Amor, no, no, that's not it. Uh, Bejo de Longue. And uh, like I said, she's from Cape Verde, so if the language doesn't sound like it, it or doesn't sound Spanish, it's because she's speaking Cape Verdean. All right, uh, we're going to play a little of our special guest's music, but uh, before that, we're going to go to this. You're listening to WNHU West Haven 88.7, Connecticut's number one college radio station.
know you You have owned you And before you've given your feeling a reason Let me show you what I told you I would do to you You got me now I got you and I what? You better make it worth a song I wrote for you And your soul make it known that I am out of my mind Lost inside your whole way of being Let me see inside your mind And your shirt Take off that skirt Don't make me work too hard cause I'm tired take you and uh, twist you and uh, throw you all over the place because that's the whole idea of the show is to give you a different perspective on the music. Uh, we just ended with a Cuban jazz combo. This is a 2011 release. The name of the CD is Afro Disco Connection and we played Long Train Running and we started off the set with a tune from uh, our uh, special guest here. His name is Giovanni Almonte and uh, the name of the CD is High Versus Low. Uh, name of the tune was, well, what, what was the name of the tune? That track was called Siéntame. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, that's, this, uh, this is a recent release, right? Yeah, it's uh, in late 2009, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, when you were talking about the, what the, the, the tune uh, represented to you when you, when you did, wrote it and put, put it all together... And Felix, <laughs> Felix was the one that asked the question. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you, I mean, uh, the whole idea is is, uh, is taking the music in a different direction, right? Well, yeah. I mean, um, stylistically, when you talk about just the instrumentation, um, it's really about uh, bringing in and using all the music that we grew up listening to. You know, my parents, you know, were listening to bachata salsa. <laughs> merengue, you know, from when I was a little kid, they all the time, that's all I heard, you know. And then I got into jazz and junior high, I played the sax for, for a lot of years, listened to Coltrane, Miles, I mean, that's all. Like, that became a religion to me. Mm -hmm. And then later on, you know, I, I got into rock. So it's it's a mix of everything, you know, and I think that's really the sound of, of music, at least in New York City right now. I mean, everything is really converging. And so... Yeah, in that one track, you have that cool jazz vibe. It goes to to that Brazilian samba thing, and then to straight timba, modern timba. That's you know. what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 I was going to ask you, Giovanni, um, you said you were playing the sax and you converted into the guitar. Yeah, yeah. What age you started playing the guitar? I was 21. Okay. Yeah, I, I, my uncle threw away a guitar. And, oh, wow. <laughs> and I picked it up. I, you See? know... Sax, I, I loved the sax, but I, I, I kept hearing songs in my head, you know, and uh, and I didn't have a way to play them. And then I was like, man, I, I, I could do this with the guitar. And I just taught myself how to play, and that's it. And then after that, I got into rock big time, you know, for okay, a while. Let me know what trash you got it from, because I want to go. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Um, if you're interested, his uh CD is at GiovanniAmonte.com, right? Mm -hmm. And um, this is your debut? Yeah. 
Well, and then most of the tracks is written by yourself, right? Yeah, they're all written by me, or um, most of them are written just by me. Some of them are co-written, like Sentame I wrote with my sister, Julie, who was also featured on that track on the trumpet. Mm-hmm. You know, she does all the horn arrangements and all the songs. She's a, you know, salsa trumpet player through and through. So. Cool. Uh, I'm going to ask you, how did you, uh, most people don't know, how would you, how you met Zakai and Lucas Curtis from, because you're recording on their label. So, yeah. I want to, so I want to know how you, you know, so our listeners will know yeah, yeah. how you got in, uh, interacting with them. Well, High Vs. Low was my first album, full album, and I was recording that independently. And then um, uh, I got a group of musicians together. I told them what I wanted to do. I needed a piano player. And uh, Obed Caver said, I know this guy. He's really good. Zakai. Wise choice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Zakai came in, and we needed a, well, the last piece was a, we needed a conguero. And Zakai was like, oh, I know this this conguero, Ray. And then Ray came into rehearsal, and I saw him, and I was like, man, I used to go see you in, uh, play with Suavecito when I was, when I was at Boston, in Boston at Berkeley, you know. <laughs> I used to go every Thursday night to Wally's to see this guy play, you know, and then he was in my band right now. You know, and then Bana too was another guy I used to follow around everywhere. Bana Giotas Andreo, watching him play, and he was in that band. So it was really um, kind of meant to be. So I was his first gig, paying gigs, Akai's first paying gig in New York City. Cool. And then he hired me for his, and then we just had too much in common, so we 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 started our own label together, and that's it. Cool. So now, um, Robert, you got that queued up or no? I'm uh, trying to find it. I can't find it on the web page. Okay, so three well, tunes, we'll, you, but, uh, we well, you know, you forgot to mention that this guy's a great artist. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, you yes. were the one that pointed it out. <laughs> yeah, he's done all the all the the covers for the the, the Curtis Okay, Brothers. I wanted to ask you that. Oh, no. Yeah, you did. You did the all the no 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 no. no. Okay. I did. I did a layout. Oh, the oh, layout. layout. Okay. Oh, yeah. so you you, you put you t- everything together so yeah. that the, okay. the final yeah you're thinking about Ed LaRoche, who okay. is an <laughs> amazing <laughs> artist. I thought it was you. No, no, My Ed LaRoche. Bing, bing. That guy's <laughs> that guy's bad boy. Hey, yeah. I was kind of trying to give you credit for something. <laughs> <laughs> I should have taken it, right? <laughs> All right. Um, uh, I'm trying to look at. Also, it. Well, the, if you can't find it, we'll we'll do this. We'll uh, Robert. We'll the second one on the right. There. This one here. No. Anyway. We'll do if, we, if we can do this, uh, Robert, if you can't find it, well, he has a guitar back here. You yeah, know? No, yeah, that'll work, that, yeah. That, you want to grab the guitar and sing something for sure, our listeners? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Substitution, that's what it's called. Substitution. You're going to have to give him the mic so you can hear that. So, you know, uh, yeah, I'll give a little breakdown first. This, um, that album that you heard right now, High versus Low, was a, it was a big project. You know, it had like... 10, 12 musicians at a time playing on that one. It, it was very ambitious. It was very big, huge arrangements, string arrangements, horn, trombone, I mean, percussion, batas. I mean, it had everything. And then, uh, you know, playing live with that was, it became a real challenge because to get all those people together, you know, it became a challenge. So um, I've, uh, I've, I'm recording and I'm halfway through my second album, which is a, a, a pared down project I, I said let me take it to basics let me be essential and be you know and be be honest really really honest so um this time instead of using zakai i went to his brother got got lucas <laughs> on it you know got lucas on it you know i was like hey he lives downstairs i could just knock on his door and get him to track some stuff and uh lucas and ray you know and if initially it was just going to be the three of us so is that ray martinez R- Reynaldo de Jesus, oh, okay percussion Reynaldo, okay so, the, so uh, you know, we, we started this project, you know, recording it on our own, producing it on our own again, and, um, and it's really coming out beautifully, and um, it, it grew a little bit, so I had to have my sister on it. I can just hear her all the time, you know, her trumpet lines. <laughs> you and probably then, wouldn't hear, you wouldn't hear the last of it if you didn't have her on Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. And then, um, and then, you know, Zakai, too, you know, I've played the songs a few times live with them, and, uh, you know, I, I, even though in the recording didn't have him initially. I was just like, man, I really miss that sound. So, so it grew again. You mm-hmm. know, it went from three to five, but still, it's still small, and it features also Orlando Vega. But um, the sound is different because it's very basic. And here's a little, here's a little bit of that that new song. So here you go now, guitar 
talking your blonde but so not so and I I can't deny this and I pay for my way into your fucked up shop but why do I stay why do I live this way why do I fight to stay in your life why do I play and I know I can't win your game Why do I try and try? I don't know why I Why do I fail to rise from this hell? Tell me that I do what I do for the love of the thing that I And I thought I could find here It's like I told you, it's like I knew it would, it would be I'm tired, yeah this life's a liar And your bright lights left me on, inspired oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. But why do I stay? Stay in your life. Why do I play? And I know I can't win your game. Why do I try and try? I don't know why I. Why do I fail to rise from this hell? Tell me that I do what I do for the love of the thing that I. Yeah. That's, awesome. That's what I'm talking about. I was going to ask you, Giovanni, are you thinking later on in the future recording a CD, just you playing by yourself solely in vocals? I think this is the closest. I really dislike playing by myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. I really yeah. dislike it. I mean, I don't get to uh, be free and expressive and really improvise because I got to coordinate the two, you know? So I, I really love getting musicians that I trust, that I know, that I, I, you know, I love the way they play and I tell them, this is a song, do what you want with it, <laughs> you know, and then I get to hear that. So I'm yeah. also a fan of them, you know, like, mm -hmm. I'm such a fan of my band, like, I could sit there and listen to them all the time and, and not even sing with them. I mean, I love that I get to sing with them too, but... Uh, to miss that, to record a whole album and not have that in it, it I just wouldn't have the motivation to to do it. I, I'd probably do one or two songs, but yeah. and I have, but not not a whole album. Okay. That's just well, the, 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 if you listen, when you're listening to a band as opposed to having to perform the music, you get inspired mm -hmm. and you get that, you get the group, you get what you, the, the alma, you throw the alma out there and it's like, oh man, put your soul out there and yeah, and the, you can uh, get, get into the music much better when you have to, as opposed to playing it. Yeah. And doing the singing, and you get the the, the consciousness of the musician and their yeah. sound. And I mean, to have a different musician, or every time a musician that I love is playing with me, like the music changes. It's it's a different thing now. It becomes a consciousness now. You know, it becomes. Um, it, it's just like alchemy. It's really musical alchemy. There's a lot of spirit and consciousness and and uh, all kinds of stuff. So it's it's really magical and. I would I would hate to miss that, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Well, you know, you just keep writing the music and seeing where it takes you. That's yeah, you know where to go now, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that song is actually brand, brand new. I actually, I put it up online uh, this morning in anticipation, you know, coming over here. Beautiful. Uh, that yeah. has Duquez, Kai, my sister, mm -hmm. Ray, in Orlando. Uh, it's called New York City, excuse the language, but... Uh, you know, it was necessary. It was too many songs about how great New York is and beautiful <laughs> and bright lights. There's not enough songs that tell you how it really is, especially for musicians. You know, and not that New York isn't great. I mean, um, it is, it, but it's very hard, you know, and that's what makes it valuable. Well, so part, part of it is that a lot of the venues that used to be around are no longer there. And Absolutely, then the, the, yeah. the places that are there 
are being monopolized by the old old bands. Yeah. And they're basically doing the same thing that they did back in the 50s and the 60s. They yeah. lock up the place, and then young musicians have nowhere to go. Yeah, and, and clubs are really killing themselves because what they do is they bring the crowds and not the music. So, yeah. you know... Right. Doesn't matter how bad the sound, the song, the band is. It's like if they bring a hundred people, they'll have them in there. And then, well, how does that make it safe for someone who just wants to hear good music? Mm -hmm. There's no, there's no venue. Okay, like I was that. gonna ask you, uh, what inspired you to write the the opposite effect of New York? <laughs> uh, it was actually that 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 um. New York, bra da 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 da. Who's who that lady? Uh, Jay Z and uh, oh yeah 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 I get what you're saying yeah. yeah you know I kept hearing that song I'm like have you been to New York because you know no obviously for some people it is that reality and it actually has been that way for me you know in the past but you know, once you stay there for a while you, you get you get the reality and I was like man there there's a there's a hardness about New York but in that hardness is also uh, there's a lot of beauty that comes from there. It's always like from the worst, the best comes, you know, right, you right. find that in life, you know? And and I I wanted to express that fully, you know? And there's this one part where, you know, um, in the song where it says, um, um, my soul says it's time to go. The mm -hmm. thing that I came here for is gone for sure. And I spent half my lifetime learning how to live my child and not my ego, you know? And that's something that you learn in the city, you know? And then. And then it says, you know, and sometimes we play, you know, me in the city. Sometimes she gives my way, and sometimes the lights can feel like I've arrived. So I know that I'll stay so long as I can feel this way, so long as she gives me the feeling that I, that I'm worth what it takes, the pain and mistakes. I know that I do what I do for the love of the thing that I, I came here to find, you know. So mm -hmm. it has its... Amen, brother. Amen. Yeah, yeah, preach, yeah. preach, <laughs> preach. It's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Giovanni, we're going to give you a little rest here, and then we're going to play some more music. Cisco, you got something queued up? Yeah, I got uh, the new uh, Jose Lugo, but uh, before that, we got to go to these messages. It's that time of the season to start thinking about getting your flu shot. Those who should definitely consider getting the flu shot are people with respiratory problems, diabetes, cardiac problems, and the elderly. Most pharmacy chains are offering the shot for a fee. Local clinics, your doctor's office, and in some cases, your employer may offer the flu shot. For the students here at the University of New Haven, you can make an appointment at the health services office and get your flu shot. The minor discomfort of the shot is well worth not having to suffer the flu symptoms. Estas soledad que hay en mi corazón 
Dejaré que se apague el motor Porque su fuerza me empuja a llegar A la puerta de la fantasía Donde los sueños se hacen realidad Y lucharé, lucharé, lucharé Para ver si la puedo encontrar Y regalarle a mi cuerpo y a mi alma y a mi corazón La otra mitad Voy a prender una vela A ver si aparece alguien que me quiera
All right, you're listening to WNHU West Haven, Connecticut, 88.7 on the FM dial. We're also streaming on the net at WNHU.net. El teléfono aquí es 203-479-8807 or 203-479-8807. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. We got uh, artists by the name of Giovanni Almonte here. And uh, let me announce what we just played uh, we started off the set with Jose Lugo's new CD, uh, Jose Lugo, uh, Guasabara Combo. And uh, we played this, uh, like I said, it's 2011 re- release. And Jose Lugo is no stranger to music. He's uh, uh, done, uh, done arrangements for Mark Anthony and uh, the likes of the pop music. And uh, he's gone out and done a couple of CDs on his own. We started with uh, Tema Guasabara and uh, followed it with Algun, alguien que me quiera, and uh, we ended with uh, Giovanni's song. And uh, tell us about the song. <laughs> not yeah. even out in yeah. the market, we're playing it. That's yeah, awesome. yeah. So, not even, so we're the first Especially to play it on the air. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Yep. I, I put it out, you know, in, in anticipation for this interview. I figured this would be a great way to thank you so much. Bring mm-hmm. it thank out. You. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for having me. So mm-hmm. you know, that was New York City. I played a little bit of it live, you know, and uh, it's from my. It, I'm releasing uh, my new album, A Song at a Time. It's called, uh, the album's called City Folk Mm -hmm. because I really feel that, that, you know, what I'm doing right now is the folk music of New York City, you know, and which is a mix of everything, you know. You know, we we are Latin, but we also listen to jazz and we listen to rock and we listen to hip hop. I mean, I'm not going to be putting hip hop on it, but, you know, Mm -hmm. it still has that pocket thing. You know, it still has a little bit of that swing, that hip jazz swing. But but the traditional instruments, even I mean, and even not so traditional, you don't usually hear a cajon and something like that. Yeah. Uh, There's cajon. Who's playing in the cajon? Uh, Reynaldo de Jesus. (laughs) That man. (laughs) It's the only yeah. one, you know, and then Orlando Vega's playing on the on the on the bongo, on the bongo. So he's he's killing too, you know. My sister on vocals and trumpet, and the idea was to do everything as close to live as possible, you know. So if, if my sister is singing a harmony, you won't hear trumpet over that because we can't do that live, you know. She can't mm-hmm. play and sing right. at the same time, so it's gonna be just. As it is, if she does that, she's an amazing musician. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she already is. She'll be yeah. singing out of one side and left playing the trumpet out <laughs> with the other. <laughs> Tell her when she does that, let me know. I want to see that live. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's man. no different than uh, Rasan Roland Kirk. We played three saxophone. Uh, oh, yeah, right, 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 yeah, yeah, so. All right, so if you like what you're listening, you can go to GiovanniAlmonte.com and you can download the music, right? Yeah, you can download it. Um, uh, Soldier, the first single that came out about a month ago, which also has a music video too, um, that one is free. Um, the rest are going to be name your price. So if you can't afford it, you can get it for zero. If you can, you know, you can pay ten dollars for a song because you're rich, right? No, no, anything, you know, anything that you, anything, any money that we get off of this goes back into the label. I mean, we really put all our resources right back into creating music, you know. And that's Zakai's label, my label, Natalie Fernandez's label, and now Chris Allen's label. And they're all going to come here. That's the beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just just what I named, you have tango, you have Afro jazz, you know, you have uh, straight ahead bop, and you have uh, rock and hip hop, just like, you know. Oh, okay, now that you're talking, are you guys, they're going to have any tango on there in this latest release? In mine? Yes. No, we're going to say that for Natalie. She's got oh, that. She's got oh. that down. Which <laughs> I, just one track. Yeah. So you, well, <laughs> it, it, maybe are, are you going to perform with Nality? Yeah, 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 maybe yeah, yeah. you can play guitar with. with yeah, Nality. that's not a bad idea. Yeah. That's not Gee. a bad idea. Maybe, 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 maybe you'll get royalties out for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the royalties that I get is when you come over here and do it live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, it's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs> all right, Robert, what you got queued up? All right, here? I'm going to play the uh, the soldier, and uh, we'll be. Oh, let's go to this and get back to the music. You are listening to WNHU, West Haven 88.7, also streaming on the net at WNHU.net, where tradition meets the present, the future, and beyond. Ah. 
You're listening to WNHU, West Haven, Connecticut, 88.7 on the FM dial. This is the Roots and Relevance of Salsa with Cisco. 
and special guest uh, and a friend. Uh, I got uh, Felix here and special guest uh, Giovanni Almonte. And uh, we played a little tune from his uh, from his website, and uh, this is from his the work that he's working on. Uh, uh, the name of the tune was Soldier, and uh, we followed it up with Enclave, their uh, CD, this uh, recent release, Aires de Navidad, with the uh, our Latin ba- Latin thing band, which is the, uh, the former farm far- the Fania All Stars. Uh, we play Canto a Borinquen. Somebody had asked me uh, yesterday about. Uh, Am I going to play any Christmas music? So I got to <coughs> fulfill that request. Mm-hmm. But uh, th- uh, on this particular CD that Enclab is doing, they're doing a, doing a lot of the classic tunes that uh, Willie Colon did back in in the uh, late seventies, early seventies. All right, uh, you you started to s- describe the uh, the the tune that we just played uh, that that's going to be on your next CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh that that tune is called Soldier S O U L D I E R. So it has nothing to do with the war outside, but rather with the war within. You know, and it's my um, understanding that usually the wars, you know that we fight are an expression of the wars within each of us, you know, as individuals. Um, in my music, like, uh, I have this intention, you know, uh, there's always this, uh, this, this, this desire or, or point to it, which is to, like, really remind uh, people of who they are at their fullest, you know, to really call out um, their higher selves, you know, to really get them in touch. You know, there's too much music out there that talks about how much money I make, how much, uh, how, how much of, how bad a rapper everyone else is except for me, how, how cool <laughs> I am, you know, like. But that's, uh, that's the, the general genre of uh, the hip hop and the reggaeton. That's all they speak about. Yeah, yeah, that. which is very low frequency, yeah. you know. It's very, it's, it's to me that's, that, that does damage to, to people as a whole, you know. It makes them th- you know, think that if they don't have this car, or if they don't do this, if they don't wear glasses inside at night, sunglasses, that they're not cool, or they're not, they don't have value. And you know, and value has nothing, worth, self-worth has nothing to do with materialism. It has to do with inner power of like who you are. I mean, you can sit, you can stand next to a person who, who's bare naked, and you can, f- if they are like powerful beings, you can feel it, you can tell, they, and, and, and it's because of they know it. It's not because you know it, it's because right. they know it. So it's really to get you know, people remind to remind people. I really have that intention to call out their power all the time, you know, through the poetry, through the words, you know, really get them to to think about who they are, what they're doing, you know, to think about because that's that's also my exploration, you know. So soldier is very much that, you know. There's a part in it that says, you know, it in the beginning it starts off very um, very much in conflict, in tension, you know. I was born in this world a believer, a soldier. You know, I fight for my faith, but with time I grow colder. I do what I want. God knows that I pay my dues so you can keep all your rules. I will do what my soul wants. You know, and it's very well, much... Well, you're a good preacher. You know that? Yeah. yeah, 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 I'm, gonna yeah, give yeah, you, yeah. I'm gonna give you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> pass the bucket. Pass the bucket. Pass the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then it really it brings it back home, brings it back to the individual. You know that all my searching has led me here to this river mirror that reflects my fear. God is here in me, so I sing my dreams. I am everything. I am king. You know, and I don't say that just for myself. I say that so that if anybody, you know, whenever you read a poem, whenever you hear a song and you relate to it, it's not because you relate to that person. It's because you relate to that truth that's inside you, you know. It's because it reminds you of something that you already know. So, Okay, Giovanni, I'm going to ask you, uh, our listeners are listening either online or or 88.7 playing any live stuff so they can check you out yeah yeah um actually right now i'm not i'm really focused on recording and getting this stuff out you know i'm really um i'm playing live